insurers, especially multinationals right now, are very interested in microinsurance. You know, there's a huge market for this, literally three billion or more people around the world that fit the definition of what microinsurance is aimed at. And so insurance companies are seeing this as an opportunity to expand uh, into new markets, new countries, people that haven't been involved with financial products before. Millman's mission is to protect uh, the health and financial well-being of people everywhere. And Microinsurance Center, their mission is to provide valuable microinsurance products to three billion low-income people. When you look at that, both of the missions are complementary. Michael McCord and his team at the Microinsurance Center, they bring this approach where they understand the needs of the market, they go out, they do demand research, they prototype products, they make sure that the benefits are being designed in a way that will serve the customer. Good microinsurance is suave, simple, understood, accessible, valuable, efficient. Fundamentally, microinsurance has to be cheap for low-income people to buy it, cheap with value. There's a number of business challenges to offering these products. Yes, insurers can do well. Yes, they can make money. Yes, they can um, use this as an expansion and a tool for the future. But there's a lot of things that they have to do. It's not business as usual for microinsurance. When we're looking at claims payments for low-income people, they can't wait months to get their claim paid. They need to get their claim paid now. Technology is critical to insurance gaining efficiencies and helping us to make this more efficient. When we're just using paper, we can't get the volumes that we want to get. Um, the technology helps us a great deal in being able to transact, in being able to inform clients, and even being able to pay claims. Microinsurance is important because when you look at low-income people around the world, when they have bad things happen in terms of a death in the family or some type of medical emergency or a natural disaster, traditionally they don't have any financial mechanism to cope with that. And so they'll do things such as sell assets, they'll have to take out a loan to cope with the financial implications of what's happened. And so microinsurance helps provide a way to insure against that uh, event and provide financial resources when they need it.